Ah, jeez. So right now, the download, the big download right now is version 2.41. Go get it, and you'll have your Xbox 360 in your PS3. What's good to download on the 360 this week? Commando 3. Yeah, Wolf of the Battlefield. Right. Yeah. That's and the reason, good. two reasons. One, it's a good game, and two, it comes with Street Fighter 2, tur Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD. Remix. Hadouken! Two characters and one background. Hadouken! <laughs> but it's still fun to play. Yeah, it's really cool. It's pretty too. I had 56 wins in a row last week. Yeah. It's really great it's if fun. you play it if you have ADD. Because you don't realize you've been playing the same two characters over and over. It makes a difference when you have a winning streak of 56. Yeah, well, when you suck, it's just like a repeat of suck. And I get, like, you know, whiplash of, like, suckness. Well, well considering. The voice you can't even play very good, and it's like he's just standing there letting me hit him. I don't know what he's talking about. It being lame, and if it was an achievement, it'd be like I just want to hit you once. Achievement. I try going for that, and that's it. Oh, so hit me once. Die. Okay, I'm frightened of the voice. <laughs> the voice. Where'd the voice come from? I don't know. It's one of your few imaginary friends. This one actually has a better personality. This month's movie is Get Smart with Steve Carell playing the title role of Maxwell Smart. Now, sweet. I personally love the Get Smart TV series, the old Get Smart series, the 60s series, the two movies they did. I do not, however, like the Get Smart revival they did on Fox in 1990 starring Andy Dick. Andy Dick. I just hated the show. And That's called Get Smarter. Yeah. A lot of people forget. There's Get Smart. And then get smarter, which is garbage. Right. And I, I read in a re uh, not a recent interview, but I read in an interview online that even Don Adams hated that show, and he was in it. Yeah. So uh, and old. <laughs> but if you want to, if you want to tempt fate, it's available on DVD. So and go out and buy it now. Go out and see what we're talking about. You're gonna cry. Seriously, but, uh, uh, seriously I'm the only way you can torture yourself even more is if you have it playing in an elevator. We gotta turn off viewer responses. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um, <laughs> so Get Smart is a uh, new movie. It's based on the old '60s TV series. I would say it's based, based loosely. Yeah, I would say it's closer to Get Smart again, the reunion movie they did in the early '80s. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I really did enjoy it, though. I, I think the jokes were good. I think a lot of the things from the old series came into play. I think a lot of the you know a lot of the stuff just the story itself just sometimes made me feel like I was watching an old episode of the show. Um, also, another comparison between this movie and Get Smart Again is that the villain was Siegfried in both movies. So, um, I think I found the voice up. Never mind. Oh, it's moving again? Yeah. yeah see, they surf back and forth. Um, and another comparison is uh, that the both movies had Jaime. One, of course, played by Patrick Warburton, the other one played by some football player. They had Hyman. Jaime, not Hyman. I oh. the robot. Why do you want to okay. hide? Jeez. We can turn all see you. Comments. Who's hiding? Turn off comments. We have to turn off comments. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Um, post your comments right here. Yeah. Don't post them during the video. Right below here. Yeah. yeah. Below the video. I am not posting any comments in your lap. That is just... What? Jeez. Man. This new YouTube feature sucks. <laughs> Comment during the show. <laughs> They can place the comment before the show's actually finished being taped. That's when we can tell you to stop or not. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are getting harsh. I know, man. Harsh in our buzz. I remember a year ago when it was just LOL, LMAO, and then a bunch of happy faces and ones. That's because they couldn't write. Right. Now it's, you know, before the show's even finished, they're commenting on it. Jeez. Unbelievable. Um, so get, anyway, you get smart, the movie, very good. Steve Carell does a really good impression of Don Adams as Maxwell Smart. It's just some of the things he does is kind of forced. Like when he actually does some of Maxwell Smart's trademark lines, it sounds very forced. Like I know you've seen the, the trailer when he swings down and hits himself in the wall. and I mean, missed it by that much. Exactly. And he, he actually sounds like he's forcing out Don Adams' real voice. And that was Don Adams' real voice. Mm. From the thing. Kind of. Oh. Eh, no. no. It, was it was Stephen Carell doing the voice. Right, exactly. That, 
Well, that's what I'm, I'm talking about when in the 60s show. That was Don Adams' real voice was created those lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then the Steve Carell imitating it, it sounds kind of forced, but still it worked. But you believe pushed out, right? Exactly. It was it was pushed out. But he did a, he did a really good job. He looks the part. He he did it. It was really great. I'm gonna give this movie four out of five shoe phones if we can do that right across the bottom there. Sure. But I'm only gonna give it three out of five because it was too short. Mm -hmm. Jaime wasn't in enough, mm -hmm. and they needed more gadgets. Okay. And so, so three. Cone of Silences? Cones of Silence. There we go. Cones of Silences. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> anyway. I give you two shoes and a gym sock. Why? <laughs> Live comments are something we're not going to have on the next show. <laughs> oh, in, uh, in just a side note, in other related Get Smart News, uh, they re-released the nude bomb. Yes, you will, after you see this, because this is a very good film. Don't believe what critics say, that this was, they basically called it a bomb. But, uh, no, it's very it's funny. hilarious. Pick it up, you'll love it. You gonna finish that? Well. Yes, the rash is cleared up. Dude. So what's up? Well, not much. Uh, I've been pretty much sitting around watching the different movies. Like? Uh, the new Batman movie. Uh, no, not the good one. That's not out yet. The other good one. Oh! Yeah. The animated Yes. The Japanese stuff and all that stuff with Bruce Timm. Okay. What do you think? Well, I love it. Looks like I expected it. I had chicken for lunch. Today on the download, we're going to be talking about Wolf of the Battlefield, Commando, Commando 3. Yes, perfect game because it takes Mercs and Commando, puts it together and makes a hell of a badass game. Yeah, I tell you what. And it's just fantastic. It's a lot of levels, a lot of killing, a lot of death. And you know what? If you got it for the Xbox 360, guess what else you get? Achievements! And Street Fighter HD. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know, it's, it's just... That's know. just kind of an underlying thing. Right. Like, eh, thanks, but... I don't think so. It's <laughs> it's HD awesome. Street Fighter! It's <laughs> HD, man! It's the, the guys have been redrawn by the guys from Udon. I can't believe it. I gotta stop, because I'm getting excited. But, uh, just... <laughs> it comes with, in all seriousness, it comes with the uh, Street, Super Street Fighter 2 HD Remix Beta. Uh, you get to play Ken and Ryu. Only two characters, but... Yeah. Um, you get to see what they're doing, and they also put up a thing at the very beginning. If you find a bug or if you find anything with it, uh, be, uh, go to, I think it's blog.capcom.com, join their forums. You can tell them exactly what to fix and what not to fix. For 800 Microsoft points, you're going to get a really kick-ass game. And Commando gonna, 3. Yep, and you're going to get to test the public beta of HD Remix, and it's the only system that you can test that on. That has it, because the PlayStation 3 version doesn't have it. Oh! Okay, so, okay, and that was the download.